Solid State of Matter by D. Crowley Education Center The matter is made up of very small particles called molecules. Molecules are made up of a number of atoms of either the same or different elements which are bonded together. The Greek philosopher called Lysippus and his pupils Democritus, 460-310 BC, are believed to be the founders of the atomic theory of matter. They speculated that all matter is made up of identical, indivisible particles called atoms separated by empty space. The existence of molecules suggested by Lysippus and Democritus has been shown by experimental results produced by the English chemist John Dalton in 1808 whose theory proposed that matter was composed of tiny indivisible particles that he then called ultimate particles, now known as atoms. His theory further states that every pure substance is made up of a single type of atoms or a combination of different atoms called molecules. In 1600 S. Boyle tried to explain the observed properties of gases in terms of molecules, their smallest particles, this will be detailed in the gas laws. Daniel Bernoulli, 1700-1782, was the first to explain the law which Boyle discovered. He also related temperature and molecular motion directly, calculated the pressure of a gas from collisions of the molecules with the walls of the containing vessel and inferred that when the temperature increases, the velocity of the molecules increases also. The kinetic molecular theory states that the particles that the matter is made up with are always moving and they often bump into each other. This random motion is present in varying amount in solids, liquids, and gases. The assumptions of kinetic theory of matter can be summarized in the following points. All matter is made up of particles called molecules. In normal circumstances it exists in three states. All the molecules of a given substance are alike in all respects. The molecules are separated from one another by the intermolecular space which is more than the diameter of the molecule itself. The molecules attract each other with a force called intermolecular force, which is strongest in solids and weakest in gases. Molecules are in constant motion. The temperature of a substance is proportional to the average kinetic energy of all the molecules of the substance. States of Matter Matter exists in the three states of solids, liquids, and gas. The physical difference between these three states lies in the arrangement and behavior of their molecules. These differences can be explained in terms of the kinetic theory model which states that Matter is made up of very small particles called molecules. These molecules are in constant motion. The degree of movement which is the measure of kinetic energy depends upon the temperature. The higher the temperature, the faster the molecules move and therefore the higher the kinetic energy. Notice that the heat energy of a substance is the total kinetic energy of all the molecules or atoms of that substance. Solids In the solid state the molecules are closely packed together and are not free to move about randomly, they vibrate about their fixed position, known as the mean position. The ability of a solid to maintain its definite shape and fixed volume is the result of the strong intermolecular forces of attraction between the molecules. These are known as cohesive forces. Solids are classified into two groups, crystalline and non-crystalline, amorphous. The difference between the two groups is the result of the way in which the molecules are arranged. This molecular arrangement is called the lattice structure of the molecules. Crystalline solids these are solids whose lattice structure has a definite regular pattern, e.g. sodium chloride, rock salt. Amorphous solids The lattice structure of an amorphous solid is an irregular, disordered pattern, e.g. charcoal and sulfur. Molecules are arranged differently in different solids and have varying magnitudes of intermolecular forces of attraction. These factors are responsible for some of the mechanical properties of solids, especially metals. Physical Properties of Solids Elasticity, it is the ability of a material to return to its original state or its original shape after it has been stretched or compressed by an external force. Plasticity, it is the property of a material by which some permanent deformation remains even after the force producing it has been removed. Ductility, it is the property of a material which governs whether it can be stretched and drawn into wires of small cross-section where there will be considerable deformation without fracture. Brittleness, 
this is the property of a material which is fragile and breaks suddenly when a force is applied to it. Malleability, it is the property which allows a material to be rolled into thin sheets without breaking. E.g. Iron, copper, and aluminium can be rolled into thin sheets. Change of solid state in solids. When a solid is heated, the vibrations of molecules and their kinetic energy increase. If the temperature goes to a certain level, the intermolecular forces are broken apart and molecules are released from each other. This results in the material changing its state from a solid to a liquid, the process known as melting or fusion. The opposite phenomenon is called solidification or freezing, change of liquid into solid. Thanks for your attention. Kindly like and share our videos. Please don't forget to subscribe and press the notification bell to be the first to receive the next learning video. You may also give us a comment to suggest what topic you would like us to cover. See you later.